Meow Statistica Statistics information related to your current selection and entire scene. The statistics are separated to four sections which you can customize by turning on and off options in the Statistica user interface. Single Object Statistics shows information related to a currently selected object. Scene Statistics shows information related to entire scene. You can set the display color for the entire statistics section or for each statistic separately. All statistics can have an opaque box. The color and opacity can be set in the user interface. There are three fonts you can use. In some 3DS Max versions you can use only two fonts, in other you can use all three fonts. You can change the size of displayed text for Custom Font 1 and Custom Font 2. Custom Font 2 has a bold option which can be turned on and off. In the Statistica user interface place the statistics section in the predefined zones. Those zones shows positions on viewports which are permanent. If a statistics section is placed in any of those zones its position will be the same no matter of the size of your currently active viewport. You can add two statistics section in one zone to combine them. Positions of the statistics section placed outside of the zones are relative, so when you switch or resize the viewport the displayed statistics will change their position, more or less. If you want to see the default 3DS Max statistics and you want any of the Statistica statistics to be displayed in the top left corner of your viewport not overlapping the default statistics move the Statistica section below the default statistic. Subobject statistics includes Count of selected and total amount of verts, edges, faces, elements, segments, splines for editable poly, editable mesh, shapes, when data is available, objects, edit poly and edit mesh modifiers. When a camera is selected its field of view and focal length values will be shown. When a group is selected you will see, group head, next to the group's name. Position, rotation, scale information will be shown each time when you move, rotate or scale selected object or subobjects. This can be very convenient when you have a large monitor, so instead of watching the status bar in the lower side of your screen while you move, rotate, scale your object or subobjects you will see this information next to your mouse cursor. 